I'm Shalee Super, your guide to world-class outdoors with Outside Yellowstone. As the temperature cools down in Park County, Wyoming, locals find different ways to enjoy everything our beautiful area has to offer. From caving to stargazing, let us be your guide with Outside Yellowstone. Heading up in elevation, Spirit Mountain Cave offers a unique caving experience. Located about halfway up Cedar Mountain, the entrance to this cave system is locked to prevent vandalism for safety reasons. To enter, obtain a key and permit from the Bureau of Land Management Office in Cody. Consisting of hundreds of feet below the entrance and numerous rooms, the cave offers adventure to those with proper knowledge and equipment. Designated as Wyoming's second national monument in 1909, this cave was originally named Frost Cave. In 1954, it was one of only 11 national monuments to become delisted. There are a few legends explaining the name Spirit Mountain Cave, including one that the hike and the cave are haunted. My name is Melissa Higley. I'm an outdoor recreation planner for the Bureau of Land Management Cody Field Office. My name is Rick Trider. I am an outdoor recreation planner for the Cody Bureau of Land Management. So uh, this is Spirit Mountain Cave. Our field office here in Cody helps manage this uh, wonderful resource that we have here such close to town. It's managed as a wild cave, so it's completely unguided. Um, there's no lights, there's nothing in there. It's locked year-round, and you have to create your own experience and explore um, what it has to offer. This cave is uh, what we call, it's, it's a pretty user-friendly cave. We get a lot of different individuals that don't have a ton of caving experience. Not really technical. Um, you're not going to have a lot of spots where you're going to need ropes. And so we consider this a pretty user-friendly cave for, for beginners. There's rock features in there. Um, if you want to climb, you can do a little bit of climbing. If you just want to explore um, and walk around to see what a cave is like, you can do that as well. So it really depends on your experience level and what kind of adventure you want to have in the cave. There's lots of different rooms that you can go and explore. Some um, require a little bit more of crawling and squeezing in to get to. You want to make sure you have good uh, footwear with good traction and tread. Um, another good item to have is some gloves. Uh, these will help keep your hands not only clean, but also protect them for uh, any scrapes or scratches that you might encounter grabbing sharp rocks. You should always wear a helmet while you're in the cave. It's very easy to hit your head and get hurt that way. We do have these available at the office and you want to make sure you have three sources of light. A good source would be a headlamp. Uh, not a good source would be a cell phone. There are bats that live in the cave and you might not see them, you might hear them. As a good rule of thumb, you should wash your clothes after you've been caving so you don't transfer any diseases from bats in this cave to bats in another cave. The cave is definitely in grizzly bear country and you should bring bear spray with you just in case. We like to follow leave no trace ethics um, in the cave, which means leave what you find. Don't take anything from the cave so that others can have the same experience. Caving is a great daytime adventure, but a relaxing way to end the day is to come stargazing. Although campgrounds are closed up the North Fork in the winter, there are a variety of pull-offs that you can use to go stargazing in the winter. My name is Pete Idema, and I'm an eighth grade science teacher at Cody Middle School. So I've been looking at the sky in Wyoming for over 25 years, and this is a beautiful place to see the sky at night. Telescopes and slow shutter speeds on your camera can turn stargazing into an interactive activity. You don't have to travel far out of Cody. We're just a few minutes out of Cody and we have no light around us whatsoever. And so you go from only being able to see the brightest stars to being able to see um, the entire Milky Way galaxy. It's, it's amazing. 
Avoid areas with street lamps or other sources of light in order to get the best views of the stars. Be sure to check websites to know which planets are visible during this time of year and where. Also do some research on the constellations and see how many you can spot. One of the pretty unique things that we've got at the middle school is an observatory, which opens the door to lots of different opportunities for kids and families to uh, see the sky in a whole new way. Completed in 1996, the observatory obtained equipment such as a Celestron 14-inch telescope through grants. Pete Idema has helped manage the facility since 1997. The observatory is mainly used by the school district, but public groups and organizations can sign up to use the observatory at www.cmsobservatory.org. Allow a few weeks to get your visit scheduled. Before you go, be sure to check out the website for a list of constellations and other stargazing information. Late fall and early winter are a perfect time to explore Park County. Be safe and remember to enjoy yourself while exploring. Be sure to join all of our adventures at Outside Yellowstone. Make sure to click subscribe, and if you have a question, leave a comment.